PBS 12 News at 9, November is National Adoption Month and often overlooked when it comes to adoption are foster children. There are tens of thousands of children and teens looking for a forever family, many of them right here in our area, Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. And joining us now is Charles Bender, CEO of Place of Hope. It's an organization dedicated to rescuing homeless, abused, and neglected children. Uh, Charles, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us and shining a light on the issues. That's certainly very important. Give us an idea here of how many foster kids there are out there right now in Florida looking for uh, a home. Well, we have thousands of children in foster care throughout the state of Florida in the individual judicial circuits that are out there, uh, but hundreds and hundreds of them are in need of forever families through adoption. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these kids age out of the foster care system and they have nowhere to go, but Place of Hope is committed to supporting them, providing them with housing. Why is this so important? Well, so adoption is forever family. It's permanency, and all young people should have permanency in their lives. We should all have permanency, uh, but sometimes kids don't find that, and they don't, they're not able to go home to a healthy family and they're not adopted and so they do age out of care but we have a solution for them at Villages of Hope in transitional housing with supports. I know I'm sure there are days where you know there's you feel like this is a struggle right that it's so difficult trying to find these kids home but you have success stories too can you share a few of those with us? We have so many but there is an affordable housing crisis in this community you all cover it it's a big issue and it's getting worse in a lot of ways and so transitional housing not letting these young people just fall off the cliff they need that next level and they need us as a community to come around them but we have so many exciting stories all over our, our uh, web page of placehope.com uh, but we're honoring two kids at an event tonight uh, that just grew up and have amazing stories, master's degrees, state universities, and now giving back. One of them is working for us full time at Place of Hope now as a therapist, and it's just wow. it's amazing to see their resilience. Can you tell us more about that event tonight? Tonight is our Paradise on the Peninsula event. It's actually at the Hobe Sound uh, Polo Fields off of Bridge Road. Got about 500 friends and supporters coming out, uh, and they're just going to deliver the support that's needed because we just took on a new campus in Stewart, and we are going to be expanding affordable transitional housing there for more youth that need it and home homeless families with children, so tonight they'll be supporting those folks that are coming. I'm sure there are you know, maybe families, people out there looking uh, who say, you know, that's that's a big cost right now to, to take another child in my home or, or, you know, obviously it's a huge decision too, to, to, to make that choice. You know, what would you say to them, people who are who are out there even just thinking about that possibility right well, now? Well, you can change someone's complete trajectory in life. These are good young people and kids and, and even toddlers and babies that just really need us to step up and just be that hand of help for them uh, and it, maybe it's not for everybody but you can support the people that are doing it and our shade, shade tree family outreach program right now is supporting directly those families that are actually taking in you know grandparents that are taking in their kids uh, their, their daughters kids and aunts and uncles friends of the family uh, that's another way we can help because somebody's got to do it they're right. in crisis you just mentioned you're expanding on the Treasure Coast which is great you can help even more can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing there so we took over an 11 acre campus from a charity that was there for about 60 years uh, they went out of business, they handed it to us, and now we're in the rebuild uh, mode, if, if you will. And uh, so it's going to take a lot of resources, but we're up and running with the outreach program. And we've already gotten approvals from the county there in Martin County to expand the transitional housing. So it's all underway. You know, construction takes a little time, but it's exciting and things are starting to come out of the ground. You kind of touched about it there, too, a little bit. You know, if if you do adopt one of these children, there are, there are people out there to, that will help you. You know, there's it's not kind of just on you to figure out what to do with That's this That's absolutely right. There are a lot of resources out there. There is support for college when they turn 18. There's, there's a lot to help you go through this journey. Nobody's going to just let you, you know, place a kid in your care and then turn around and walk the other way. Uh, but they do need us. They are the neediest young people in our community. All right. Charles, thank you so much for being here with us this thank morning. You. That's fantastic, thank Charles. You. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. All right, 941 right now, coming up next, Ticketmaster becomes a ticket mess for...